What's up everybody, Jan Detters here, also known as Typhoon on Instagram. And in this video I'm going to learn you guys how you can create awesome line distortions. Where you can create awesome stuff with, like this. So in this tutorial video you will learn how to install a plugin for Illustrator and Photoshop, how to use the plugin and how to create awesome line distortion artworks. The artwork looks difficult but it isn't at all. So yeah, let's dive right into the process. So we are going to work with Illustrator and Photoshop in this tutorial. But first I'm going to show you how to install a plugin. So the plugin is uh, available on uh, vectorslate.com uh, it's a plugin created by Hardik Lakalani. I hope I pronounce his name correctly. And yeah, when you scroll down, you have a link, a download link, and you can click on it, and then it starts downloading the plugin. Um, yeah, you can al also buy him a coffee if you want. Also, check out his YouTube channel, it's, uh, he has very nice tutorials. I also will leave a link in the description where you can buy where you can download the plugin. So when you have downloaded the plugin, you can open the zip folder and then you have a line distorter image processor.jsx and you have a line distorter.jsx. And we are now we now want to add those into our Illustrator and Photoshop applications so you can use this plugin in those programs. Okay, so let's go on a Mac to applications. Click on the map Illustrator, go to presets, click on your language, go to scripts, and now you can copy paste, copy and paste or drag this JSX file the line distorter file you need to have in this scripts map. For Photoshop we do the same, only it's in a little bit different map. For open Photoshop, go to presets, search for scripts, and then copy or copy paste the script or drag the script into the scripts map. And for Photoshop you need to have the line distorter image processor copied in the map. So basically this way on the Mac uh, you can install any plugins for Photoshop and Illustrator. As you have imported the JSX files into the map you have to make sure that you have that you restart Illustrator or Photoshop otherwise you can't use the plugins. So we are going to use this number two as a reference and we are going to create it in Illustrator at first, click on the type tool, click on your artboard, press in the number two. I'm using the Neuerhaas Grotesque display. We are going to press on command shift and O. This creates an outline of the text and now we are going to round the edges a little bit. I'm doing this in Illustrator because I think it's easier to create in Illustrator than in Photoshop. So select this bottom part, this angle, click on the circle, the white circle and drag it inwards. Same for, the, for these two anchor points, click on that white little dot dotted circle and bring it inwards. Also for these two, we are going to make them round. We are going to extend these anchor points a little bit. So the letter will, or the number will be more in balance. Now we want to bring this number two into Photoshop. Select it, press on command C, go to Photoshop. In Photoshop, I have a document opened with a size of 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. This is also the Instagram format size. Uh, we are going to paste the number two over here. Press on command V. Click on Smart Object. We are going to turn this one a little bit. 
because in our example the number two is also a little bit rotated going into the middle press on this check mark over here we want to add a Gaussian blur to this to this number two so go to filter blur Gaussian blur we want to make this a little bit higher I think something like 35 would be nice give it a 35 radius press on ok and now basically we can start our plugin go to file go to scripts and go to line distorter image processor click on it so this pop-up comes up 10 by 10 pixels is okay press on okay and the plugin will start doing its work it's better now to not do anything else because the plugin needs to do its work otherwise it can crash so i'm just going to fast forward to the end so you guys don't have to wait so the plugin is almost done okay done open illustrator document and run line distorter script there okay press on ok click on illustrator again we can delete this number two now and we are going to click on file scripts line distorter and this opens a pop-up screen you can give value to the height and you can give value to the angle you can play with this I think the default angle is a nice angle and the height you can make it one point press on ok now simplify window will open turn on straight lines and set angle threshold to one degree press on ok and it's already applying the simplify filter we can use this slider to make smoother strokes I go for something around 1000 points okay. click next to the window and this is our artwork it looks pretty smooth you can adjust these lines how you want to you can select them with the white direct selection tool and you can for example use the smooth tool to smoothen out those edgy corners so yeah it's quite quite a nice technique you can also adjust the lines make the stroke thickness a little bit thicker I'm going for two and a half I'm going to add this to the artboard you can also like drag out these white lines a little bit to fill up the artboard select the ends click on the black square so you don't transform it and then you can put out the white lines so it's a pretty easy plugin to use it's an awesome technique so big shout out to vector slate hardik lakalani it's an awesome plugin i hope you guys have learned how it works and uh, can't wait to see the awesome stuff you guys create with it thank you all for watching please subscribe like follow the channel for more